Hi everyone, this is Chiso Mubona and I welcome us to this tutorial. Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to learn how to create this kind of design with our smartphone. Okay, so as you can see, this is the layer panel and I designed everything here on Pixel Lab. So we are going to learn how to create this kind of design using Pixel Lab. But please before we continue, do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, um, you can also enable the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you can easily access it. Okay, so let's get started. So this design is really simple. We can just go ahead and clear everything. I'm going to use a plain background, which is white background, uh, which is black rather. Okay, then the next thing we do is to, we are going to create a kind of um, box. But then before we do that, let's import the design. Let's import the design. This is it. I want to get the exact exact um, size of the shapes I used. Okay, so this one here, here and here. Okay, so we go to opacity and reduce the opacity of the main shape and we'll come down to stroke and add a stroke okay let's stroke the width shouldn't be much let's leave it at 18 okay then please change this to this one we want to have uh, we don't have we don't want to have a curved shape a curved um, stroke we want to have a straight stroke okay so so you click here to get um exactly a plain a plain stroke without curves okay so when you're done with that just go ahead and change the color to white plain white okay so when you do that you can go ahead and add this one And then we want to hide this now all right so we've gotten the shape of the box so you can go ahead and merge this too when you merge this to you import the image you want to use which is here in photo room this is the image here and we just slightly increase the size So we take it to the back. Okay, when you do that, now we want to max the shape around his head. We want a part of the shape to go back. Okay, so what do we do? We just click on the shape, click on max. Please pay attention to this. Okay, so pay very close attention because here it's gonna confuse a lot of persons. So but it really is what I'm going to do here is easy. I'm going to max this shape in a way that it will cut these two edges okay then i'll take one of the end to the back and then leave one at the front so let's go you click on max here you drag this one to this side and then drag this to this side okay so now this line is going to help us cut here and here I don't know let me let me enable the brush so I can show as well so it's going to help us cut here it's going to help us cut here too so that is it we just click on enable here as you can see we just cut the two so what do we do we okay it we copy this now when we copy it we are going to change the color of this one to maybe any color red red is okay then make sure you align it in a way that the both of them are at the same level or the same place okay so you can enable your zoom for you to get a perfect alignment you have to make sure the both of them are at one place okay make sure the both of them are together so as you can see i i think i've aligned it okay no it has to 
he still has to go to the back go to the left a bit okay i think he's aligned now so you go to you go to your max again and then click out he's in now so you click out all right so having clicked out you can change the color of this one to white sorry color of this one you can change it to white I just go go off it here then if you look closely you see we have a little difference here okay it's not well aligned so what do we do we click on the second one we just drag it down okay let's check again okay you see the line i just if you see what i did i just dragged it down a bit uh, it was like this and then i clicked on position here the move by i reduce it to one times okay then i moved it down just once or twice you can do yours twice okay or once depending if you if you actually get the alignment where you you won't need to adjust it further okay you have to make sure the both of them are together or the both of them still form the box okay so we then take this second one down take it to the back of his head all right and we've successfully marked the shape around his head so we can match the three all right so we've successfully made the three the next thing we do is to edit the image a bit we want to add more contrast to the image but then before you add the contrast reduce the brightness okay and then add the contrast okay if it's too bright it's, it will not really it will not really be clean okay so to add contrast we have to reduce the brightness okay no we don't want to add no saturation so just reduce the brightness all right then add contrast all right want to make the guy pop okay okay so having gotten this the next thing we do is to bring in the icon we want to use or the icon social media icons we want to use okay so you go to i think my download here is really far so i need to patiently look for it So this is it right here so just click on it then crop it here crop it here okay and bring it to this end i drop it here and drag this one down a bit let's know if you can get a clearer or a sharper icon here really don't like this one okay we want to the reason why i'm doing this is because i want the icons to especially this instagram icon to to fit into the texture of the or color of the image okay so that's the reason why i'm, I'm like adjusting it a bit okay all right now it's it's perfect all right so you can bring in twitter and facebook icons Okay, so this is WhatsApp icon. So let's bring it in and drop it here. All right, we can copy it. And reduce the size a bit. Keep it here, not a bit. Reduce the size well. All right, I keep it here too. So let's look for Facebook icon. Not sure if it's somewhere close. 
okay so we're close so we're gonna we are gonna make use of this one so also reduce the size and keep it here too then copy it and bring it down here then reduce the size I think this is okay. Should you add Twitter? Okay, let's just leave Facebook, Instagram, and these are one of uh, the three of the most three of the most um popular social media platforms. So, um, the next thing we do is to add our text. What's trending? What's trending? What's trending? But the words I'm going to I'm gonna have to split the text. Alright. So we are going to use this Nexa bold Nexa Nexa font. Okay, that's the name of the font we are gonna use. Nexa Nexa Nexa. If you don't have it, you can go ahead and download it. Download it. Okay. Nexa is the name. What's trending? Okay. So you want to take your time and make sure you get something good enough. Let's know how we choose the size. E, this is what this E, we have to rotate it a bit. Okay, increase the size a bit. Then copy it. then s you want to take your time and do all of this so you can get something really good okay so this is my words Reduce this a bit. Okay, what's trending? So my trending, my trending is just gonna be trending. I'm not really going to adjust anything. So that one is also gonna take another round of font size. So just stick to this trending. The line spacing, reduce it to six. And six is okay. What's trending? Which can I can use a different font for this. Okay, so having gotten this. Mm -hmm. Just want to create a shape around here. Oh, I think it's gonna be stressful to some persons. Okay, and it's not in the original design. It just came to my head. If you watch some of my videos, I do say it a lot. Design is decision making. Design is decision making. Sometimes if you want to create something, you'll be like, okay, I can actually add this to make it look better. That is what came to my head. But I knew if I had added it, it's gonna look it's gonna make the design really stressful for some persons, especially newbies. Okay, so what's trending? Yeah, we've gotten the what's trending here. Yeah? All right. So I think I'm gonna have to merge these three icons here. Yeah? This one. This one and this one. I want to merge the three of them because I want to copy them on all my Facebook. No, not this. Okay, this one, this one, and then this one. Yeah. 
to enjoy this one here. Just reduce them a bit. Just drag them to this end. Okay, maybe we can we can put them inside the circle. Yeah, right. Design is decision making. This is not this is not in the design I created earlier. <laughs> okay. But then I feel it's needed. Okay. So having gotten this, we are actually done with the design now. Just go ahead, click on sticker here. This flea effect. If you click on sticker, you click on the background. Okay, so that the flea effect will not disappear. Then increase the size. Increase the size well enough. Then change the color to this is the color code here. Yeah? This is the color code you are going to use F24521. Okay, that's the color code. Okay. Then we take it to back. Take it to back. Okay. You lock it. Okay, what's trending? Is there any other thing we are missing? Okay, so having gotten this, we can click on import here. When you click on import, you go to, I think my photo room. Photo room is here. And this, this is what I want to make use of. Then just reduce the size a bit. Have it here. Have it here. Copy it and bring it here too. All right. Let's reduce the size a bit. Okay. When you're done with that, you can go ahead. I want to add a little bit of effect here. I don't. I don't just want this place to look like this. So. All right. I'll. I have to add this one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just full stop into six full stop into three places. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So I know you've seen this in some of your designs. You can reduce the line spacing. And then, yeah, have it here. Reduce the line spacing a bit more. Not this this one right 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 okay then you can also you can also click here you can also click here and click on this guy here make use of you too you just reduce the size as much as you can right and drag it to this end then copy bring it down and take it to this end also okay we are done with the design already so I just it so please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel very important okay because i'll be uploading more and more interesting tutorials okay so you can after this you can go ahead and add your name okay um chisom chisom obona all right so you can change the font to Usually, I love writing my name with either Ballast or Billy Ashley. Okay. Then, line spacing. Okay. Yeah. And then you can go ahead and save your work. Okay, that's it. Thank you for staying with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.